we have uh, partnerships with um, some, some partnerships actually that we're in process of crafting some PR to make the announcements. Uh, really excited for them. We've been alluding to them uh, over the, the previous weeks. Uh, and, and we're actually the way that they've culminated and uh, you'll see in the announcements, they actually beat my expectations. I'm really excited. We're going to be uh, kicking off actually some projects in the very near term, actually using our technology for some very prominent projects that are already out there. And the way that we're doing this, the way we're restructuring to be maximally effective on actually building things like now, not waiting uh, you know, for, for the future to, to get out there and make our technology widely accessible. Rosario's product team, that she's in process of crafting and staffing up. Uh, Rosario's team will be the pointy end of the spear on, on working with these types of partnerships and actually building out uh, proofs of concept and you know early stage applications with our technology. And really what this means is taking our SDK and launching side chains with key partners. Um, so we are chronically understaffed. This is kind of the story of our lives, always being resource constrained. But in any case, this activity is too important. So we're going to be staffing up at least four to six new developers. We're starting the hiring process immediately. Now we're at the stage in, in our evolution where it just makes complete sense to spin off a dedicated product team to work with partners. Because as we, we go through our uh, project schedules on, on getting uh, Zendu matured, the latest full implementation rolled out to testnet, to mainnet, there's so much work ahead for the engineering team. We're as well chronically understaffed on our engineering team and we will be staffing up and hiring on the engineering side as well. Um, but every time we pull out engineering resources to work with potential partners or just explore ideas with people, we bump directly into the critical path for these projects and we necessarily bump the, the schedule out. This new organization I'm extremely excited about because we're carving out a team dedicated to these types of partnerships, dedicated uh, to getting applications out there in, in the real world today. Um, so this is exciting, and, and by doing this, we're not going to be uh, pulling engineering resources from critical path work every time we want to explore an idea. And we have lots of ideas, and you're going to hear in the very near future, as soon as we can get the press releases put together and actually uh, float them out to journalists. Uh, very excited, though. So one of these projects will be working with a very well-known peer-to-peer lending application on the market and carving out two sidechain projects for them. Uh, one will be um, tracking uh, assets on, on the app to provide a kind of unprecedented level of transparency for the application and users going towards their mandate of transparency uh, and good faith with their users and also just our mandate, the types of values that we want to project in the world. Uh, transparency and good governance is absolutely key to that. So really excited for that project. Uh, the second project with this partner will be looking at another side chain that actually ex extends the features on their application to use uh, zero knowledge proofs. So really excited to start scoping out what that's going to look like. Uh, that would be the second project uh, coming after the, the first lower hanging fruit project. Um, so we have a sequence of work with this one partner. We're also going to be announcing another partner, uh, again, in the, the D5 marketplace. Um, the goal of that project is, again, transparency and immutability for their users' records so that they can have confidence in, in the application itself. So really excited for, to work with these types of partners and just immediately showcase the power of our technology and using the SDK. Now, augmenting this product focus, uh, narrowing this to a series of very quick wins, we're putting together uh, teams to focus on porting over other open source tools that just already exist and are already part of other ecosystems that are exploding and very much um, respect these other ecosystems and they're positioned exactly where we're trying to position ourselves. So it just makes complete sense to start getting some quick wins on that side, on the tool side, and also exploring partnerships and opportunities with key de dev shops that have significantly contributed to other very important projects out there that, are, again, are also in the same space of multi-blockchain multi ecosystems like we are with Zendu. So, again, excited to, to look at these um, partnerships and our own product um, engineering team working with partners and also looking at uh, partnering with other dev shops to bring in other tools and mass and to do this like ASAP. We're also interested in starting to look for a developer evangelist for the foundation to, to reiterate what we're looking for here. So because we're building out this developer ecosystem and, and focusing hard on being a dev first project um, and building this developer ecosystem, we want someone who's super passionate about crypto, obviously a ton of crypto experience. Um, it, it, there's a huge learning curve coming from outside of crypto and coming in and being immediately productive. But it's not just that. We don't just want someone who can code. What we want is someone who lives and breathes 
crypto. It just lives for this stuff and wants to just has a passion, wants to bring that passion to our project and accelerate our community development activities. Uh, someone has to fit our culture as an ecosystem, uh, fit our culture as a foundation here with this organization. They also have to be a hands-on coder. We're not just looking for someone to you know, uh, communicate with developers. We're looking for someone to actually be hands-on coding and, and accelerate our tool development and just accelerate the ecosystem in general. Um, so really excited. We, we have some really good candidates in mind, in mind that we're uh, vetting right now. So I think something will materialize uh, sooner rather than later in this front as well. But you can see where we're going here, dev focused and bringing tools over so we can support our developers and actually getting our technology in the short term and intermediate term out there in the marketplace while we're concurrently doing uh, some significant you know, back end core development with the engineering team. The webinar uh, coming up next week is extremely important. So guys, if you are a developer in the community here, please join, be part of this. Uh, even if you're not a developer and you wanna just come and see what's going on, you can have a hands-on walkthrough with our SDK team. Alberto will, will be on there as well. So just the, the information flow will be invaluable. And we'll also uh, take this and make it available as a resource to developers um, so they can access at any point. But this will be the first of just a series of focus and commitments to making our tools available and actually useful for people. Let's see, just to sum this all up, guys, you can see focus, focus, focus is absolutely critical for us. We are dev focused right now. The project has shifted gears, if you haven't noticed over the, the last few months, ever since we delivered the Zendu beta um, back in July. And we've been ramping up this focus and ramping up the, the community building, ramping up uh, just how every single division in our organization is focusing on this. Um, we are working on tools, KPIs for proper measurement. Uh, we're restructuring for maximum effectiveness, like you can see here, carving out the product engineering team from the engineering team. Um, so we can really just uh, start sprinting towards these you know, quick and intermediate wins on using the technology, refining the core tech and continuing the heavy development on the, the engineering side is absolutely critical. And ultimately, we know we're in a race right now to get our technology to mainnet. There's a lot from here to mainnet, and the team is, is hyper-focused, and we are gonna be expanding our team so we can ex expand our capacity to actually deliver. Uh, really exciting times for the project. I, I feel this pent-up energy with the project. We've been uh, developing for years now on getting this uh, technology to where it is now and to where it needs to be, uh, getting it to mainnet. Uh, it, it's extremely exciting, but we are exactly focused on, I think, exactly what we need to do. So please be patient, and you will see some very, very near-term wins, especially with the announcements that will be forthcoming in the next one to two weeks. Ralph, are there any comments or updates you'd like to share? Yeah, Angie, just some uh, quick. As I was listening to the update today and, and think about all the updates that we've had uh, here over the years, it's great that we're able to provide a glimpse to people in how actual useful, sustainable, and secure software gets developed. And it's definitely a process, and it's a process that the team works through, and there's many different uh, elements of the team. Uh, architect, cryptographer, uh, software developers for the front end, for the back end, um, program managers, uh, project managers. Uh, then we have to make sure that the people who are going to use it actually find it and are interested. So, you know, marketing, business development, all, all sorts of different things like this. So most organizations don't give a glimpse into the actual process. But, you know, since from our very beginning, we've been a community involved uh, program or a project. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we do these weekly updates. And there is you know, incremental progress every week, but this is how real software gets done. And this is how you end up with, you know, after a few years, a useful, good project that can make a very big difference in the world. Thanks, that's all I got. <laughs>